everyone, it's VN. Today, as you can see in the title, is a get ready with me video. I'm just gonna get ready to go out and uh, run some errands and stuff, get out of the house, because I've been stuck in the house for the last couple days. I'm going crazy. So uh, just gonna get ready and uh, gonna take you through it with me if you want to see how I did this look or, you know, just have fun with me, then uh, keep on watching. Okay, so first I'm going to start off by putting um, this moisturizer on my face. And it's the moisturizer by Benefit, the triple performing a facial emulsion, emulsion. And I've mentioned before that I really like this for my face because it's not heavy on my skin and it absorbs really well. It has a good smell. It has like a clean, um, refreshing smell. And today I'm going to try the Master Prime by Maybelline. So let's give this a go. I normally don't wear primer, but um, I noticed with the Wet n Wild foundation that I plan to use today, I think you need primer. Because to me, I just feel like when I put on a primer, it's another layer that's covering my skin. So. Mostly I need it right here in my T-zone where my pores are large and on my nose. And down here too since I have some extra. And I really don't like this primer very much. It doesn't, it doesn't have that silicone feel and it doesn't feel like it's smoothing out my uh, the surface of my face so I don't know and it's a little bit tacky don't like that I'm used to the benefit uh, prime and poreless my lips are really dry so I'm gonna put this on okay so now we're gonna go in with my foundation and I'm gonna use my favorite foundation brush Gosh, it's kind of dirty but that's okay so I'm using the color soft beige in this foundation here and it has a little wand so that's kind of convenient I just use whatever's on the wand and uh, this foundation dries quickly so I'm gonna do half of my face first and I believe this foundation oxidized a little bit like a teeny tiny bit It goes on fairly smoothly. It's not full coverage. It's probably just medium coverage. You could build it up. I'm not sure that you could build it up all the way to full coverage though. But I mean it evens out the skin tone just fine, but it can't like see my little freckles right here. It can't cover all that even when I try to uh, layer it. But that's fine for me for like, you know, every day. I don't need it like to be full full coverage. I read somewhere that they said that you should be, um, so I'm just blending it out. You should be proud of your uh, freckles <laughs> because you kind of earned them. <laughs> this is probably being out in the sun somewhere, enjoying myself or something like that. That's just how I think of it. So, okay, I think that looks okay. And next I'm gonna powder my face and I'm gonna use, um, the uh, It Cosmetics, oh lighting, It Cosmetics uh, Celebration Foundation Illumination and Light. And I love this for setting my foundation when I have to because it gives a little bit extra coverage. For, I'm going to use um, my Becca. It's been my go-to lately. It's really dark, but I like it. I'm done with my contouring. Next, I'm going to do my highlight. Okay, I'm going to use um, the Wet n Wild Color Icon uh, Mega Highlighting Mega Glow in the color Precious Petal. You see, you can see I've used it a lot. I really like it. I'm gonna put some right there. my nose. Ok, 
Okay, so I'm done with my highlighter and I'm going to put on some blush. I'm going to use the Physician Formula um, Boosting Blush right here. Just roll it. Gives a really, really pretty glow. I really like it, you guys. It's been my go-to blush lately. And it doesn't have like that huge pop of color where some of the blushes are so pigmented. Um, it just like shows up and then you have to kind of tone it down. This one you kind of gradually build it up. And it gives a really nice glow. I really like it. Okay, now I'm gonna do my brows. And I'm using the um, Anastasia Dip Brow in Chocolate. And the number seven brush. I really like this combo. I've tried a lot of other combo for my brows, and this is the one that I always go to the most. Because with this, I can just get the exact shape that I want really quick and easy. For some, some reason, I can't do the pencil, though. No. With my brow, it's been pretty stormy here in the last uh, couple weeks actually. So it's been like snowing and then ice and then um, thawing out. And so I haven't really been able to get out of the house much. And today is like finally the first day that it's thawed, everything thawed out. But then it's going to start snowing again tonight. So uh, I have to go out and run a bunch of errands, go to um, the grocery store, stock up. And I'm um, going to the mall just to get there before, <laughs> go get what I need before everything like shuts down. Because where I live, when it's a little bit of ice, like everything shuts down. School shut down for like two days already this week. No, just one day. But two days last week, I think. I'm using the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Eden. And today, since I'm wearing peach, I'm going to use my peach palette. And ah, I love the smell. Can't help it, you guys. You guys do that with your, do you guys have your chocolate chip palettes and you guys do that too? Not chocolate chip palette, the chocolate palettes. I have all three of them and uh, I do do that when I open them up and stuff. So I'm sure everybody does. Okay, I'm going to take the Georgia color right here. And put that all over my lid. It's kind of like a light peachy color. Light pink color. Put it all over my lid. And I'm going to take this brush right here is the It Cosmetics uh, Crease and Concealer Blush. Brush? Blush? Blue? the IT Cosmetics uh, Crease and Concealer brush and I'm going to use the concealer side and I'm going to take um, like a darker color I think I'm going to take this cobbler color right here I've never used it before I'm going to try it and from the middle of my eye I'm going to pull it straight out right here oh that's not really straight but kind of pull it out right there same with this side don't worry I'll blend it all in later I draw it out like that. And then I'm going to take a darker color, uh, Peach Pit. This one right here. On the other side of that same brush. And I'm going to make like a triangle line. See that? Because I want to pull my eyes up and not droopy down. So, I'm going to do the same. And then I'm going to pull it in. that. I'm going to take another brush using another IT Cosmetics brush. Um, this is the, I don't know, but it's a double, double ended brush. It's like a smudger and then a uh, blending brush. And I'm going to take this light cream color right here, just very lightly, and I'm going to blend that all out. Blend, blend, blend. That's 
all you do is blend. And normally you can put um, a piece of tape right here if you want your sides to be really sharp, but I'm okay with mine not being sharp because I can always do this and just clean it off. See that? And I'm going to take this candy peach color right here um, with this other shader brush. I'm going to put it on my lid. And that kind of darkened my lid, so I don't like it. So I'm going to take the Just Peachy color. Put it on top. I haven't been out of the house for a few days, and so I'm like anxious to get out. Okay, and then I'm going to take white peach right here to uh, highlight my brow bone. The Wet Wild foundation feels still feels uh, sticky to me. I don't don't really like that very much. Okay, and then now I'm gonna go blend in because this is still a harsh line right here. All right, so that's it for my shadow, and I'm going to use the Urban Decay um, 24 hour, 24 seven glide on pencil. And it's not as sharpened as I would like, so I'm going to sharpen it really quick. There it is. I'm going to line my eyes ever so lightly because this is so pigmented and it's so soft. So you have to use a very, very light hand. Okay, and then after that, I'm going to use this brush right here. It's the um, It Cosmetics double-sided brush. I'm going to even out my liner. And then also, I'm going to wing it up a little bit. I love using this brush for winging up my, my uh, pencil liner. Although this is pencil, but it... it to me, it's even better than some, um, easier to work with than some liquid liner because it, it feels like a liquid liner. Do any concealer under my eyes because my eyes are so poofy today. But from this angle, it looks more even more poofy. So with that, I'm going to take the smudger brush right here and I'm going to take the cobbler color, this color right here. Gonna bring that down here a little bit. So I'm done with my eyes and now I'm going to curl my lashes. Using my favorite mascara, the Roller Lash by Benefit. That is it for my face and now I'm going to use what am I going to use? I think I'm going to use this right here. It's the Wet n Wild Catsuit Matte Lip Liquid Lipstick in the color Coral Cor Coral Corruption. Okay, you guys, so that completes my look for today. Um, I hope you had fun with me uh, putting on makeup today and um, I hope you like the video. Hopefully you come back for more and uh, I'll talk to you guys next time. Uh, please remember to hit the subscribe button. It would mean a whole lot to me. All right.